Welcome to another video guys. In today's video, I'm gonna be working back on the 67 Mustang. Uh, we're gonna be doing a little bit of wiring or starting on the wiring and uh, getting the fuel tank installed. Go ahead and stay tuned. All right, so um, to get started here, I uh, I already did the fuel injection unit or I put it on there, obviously. Um, got the fuel lines routed. Um, I did finally get a bigger strip drill bit to dig those, uh, drill those holes bigger. That way I can put a big grommet and that way the lines won't get damaged. Um, I installed a nitrous plate, so I gotta finish uh, putting hose clamps on the fuel line going to the nitrous. I got the fuel line going out to the back for the nitrous, so I gotta finish routing that. And then there's a lot of wiring here. So I connected the um, MSD pigtail here for the MSD box. And most of these wires are gonna be connected to each other for the fuel injection to the MSD box. So I kind of routed everything that's gonna be connected to each other, um, kind of tied it like this. Uh, some of this stuff is um, I think it's kind of like the key on, you know, coming from here. Um, but some of this stuff, it's, you know, it's for um, connecting the MSD box. So the uh, fuel injection unit is going to kind of control the timing a little bit, the retard. So I'm going to have to connect it together. And uh, so that's, that's a lot of wiring um, I have to go with. Uh, I did decide not to put the battery here because, I mean, it just, as it is, it's already got a lot of stuff here. With the battery, it's going to be more crowded. I don't want that. So I'm going to run it in the trunk and run the cable. Um, this solenoid, it's not going to stay there. I just put it there when I was testing the uh, ignition switch. Make sure. Um, I did put power and everything was turning on, the gauges and everything, the uh, air conditioner unit. So I just mounted it there. It's probably going to be mounted here on the side um right against here and then the uh, cable i'm gonna run it and it's gonna have probably a small hole coming through here with the grommet going into that and then you know uh, from there it's gonna go to the starter and everything and i'm thinking msd box is gonna be routed right in here as well um this wires for the fuel injection unit i know they're they come out of here on the front but I think I'm just gonna route them on the back, kind of like that other one is back there. Just kind of make it go around um, that fender or inner fender. So I gotta connect all that. And then um, also today I'm gonna be starting on the gas tank. So finally order a gas tank. I got a discount for Black Friday. So I'm gonna go ahead and work on that. Um, so I saved a little bit by buying it then. Um, I, I was gonna buy it anyway. so. It still saved me like $40, $50, so um, I went ahead and bought it. And so I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paint it. I'm gonna spray it with some uh, undercoating, that way, uh, it, this has a paint on it, and so you know, it's gonna be protected, it's fine. But at the same time, uh, I don't want to be able to see a gray tank underneath the car. So, um, you know, as you can see, the tank's gonna probably hang out here. So you can kind of see it from the back. And so you'll probably be able to see it, I don't know, three inches, four. I don't want it to be that great color that it is. So I'm going to uh, go ahead and spray it black. That way it's just black. Um, let it dry and then I'll flip it and spray the other side. So I do have to tape here. I don't want to get any of that coating where the um, sending unit's gonna be. So I'm gonna tape this spot. Um, I'll probably tape this spot here also. I don't want to get some of that coating uh, too much on the threads here. So I might just kind of cover this a little bit. Uh, I'll spray it and then I'll turn it around once it dries and spray the other side as well. Um, 
So I'm gonna be working on that. That way I can install that in the car and, and show you guys uh, how that gets installed. Mm -hmm. So I moved the tank here closer to the heater. Uh, I hope I don't catch on fire while I'm spraying it, but I might just move it a little bit farther to spray it. Um, I just want to make sure it gets a little bit warm. Um, it's pretty cold in here. And so I taped the underside, I taped this side, and that's just because this is where the ascending unit goes. Um, I want to make sure that, you know, I can see it in there right um, with this primer on there. And then uh, just around the threads on this plug, just, you know, if I need to tighten it or loosen it, it's not, doesn't have any of the uh, undercoating. Um, so I'm just gonna let this warm up for a few minutes and then I'm gonna go ahead and spray it. Uh, probably give it like two coats. I'll have to let it dry, maybe, you know, an hour and then I'll spray the other side. And then uh, while that dries, I'm gonna go ahead and start figuring out a little bit of that wiring, like I said. Uh, I might not film that right away because I, I really need to figure out um, where I'm gonna run the wiring to first and then I'll show you guys uh, what I end up doing.
All right, so this is the finished product, um, roughly. So there's a couple of dings on the tank. Um, I just noticed now, probably because of the color, but um, the box was a little bit messed up from where I got it, uh, the shipping. Uh, one of these corners, I don't know if you saw, I had to get a pair of pliers, actually this corner over here, and just bend the back as it was pushed up. Um, but whatever, I mean, you know, what can you do, I guess? Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and just let this dry and then I'll take the tape off here. Um, this should be pretty pretty easy to do. Actually, I'll just take it off right now. So uh, I took the tape off on the drain plug on the other side, so I'll leave that like that. That's where the hose is gonna go. And then um, I'll put the fuel in it once it dries out and everything. So uh, what I ended up doing today, instead of messing with the wiring, I um, you saw there I was putting together the condenser for the AC, so that's all mounted. Uh, those brackets mount in the factory location for the hinge. So they're on the top, or not the hinge, but the uh, latch. And then on the bottom as well. Uh, when I put this radiator core support, I did replace it. And so it didn't have the cutoff for the AC lines, which are right here. I'm going to have to cut this little... It has two cuts on the side, but nothing across, so I'll have to cut across. And then, um, it's no big rush on that one because the lines I have to get them made, so I'll, I'll wait till everything is pretty much kind of done. Uh, but I did want to get this in here because I also need to order a fan for the radiator. And as you can see, there's not too much clearance here with the supercharger belt drive, so um, I had to make sure I'm probably gonna put a pusher fan on this side, which are at the bigger one here. I do have plenty of room mounted to the condenser. And then I'll put a little bit smaller one on the inside, a uh, puller mounted to the radiator. That way I have two fans. I think that'll just be better than one. So I wanted to get that done so I can start looking into the fans. Um, I'll have to get that ordered. And then uh, definitely um, this video is gonna be a little bit shorter, but it's kind of just an update. I did run the spark plug wires last time and all this, so uh, I just, like I said, I'm gonna start figuring out where to route and then just splicing all these cables, um, get them spliced to the solenoid, and then I have to order that battery kit, uh, relocation kit, um, that's gonna have the long wire and everything. Um, this is all for the like air conditioner wires and all that, so you know um, I have to run some of this stuff as well. And I think this is also the nitrous controller for the solenoids or the relay for the solenoids. So I have to figure out where that would go. And, you know, it's just, I don't know, like this stuff here, um, it's a little bit longer. This is for the connector and the uh, cooling temperature. And so I don't know if I'm just gonna kinda fold it back here and then put like the wire loom over it. Um, I could potentially shorten those wires you know, the right length and then solder them. So I might do that and just keep them the right length, but I don't want to cut anything off the back. So maybe I'll run everything kind of, you know, leave it longer. Same with all these. And then if I do have to shorten, once the car is running, I can go back and do that. Cause I don't want to cut something and then find out it's too short, but, um, and then have to go back and, you know, do double work and all that. So. Um, that's it for this video guys. I hope you enjoy a little bit of the progress. Please subscribe to the channel. Leave a thumbs up. That helps a lot. And uh, any comments, questions, leave them in the comments. Uh, we'll see you in the next one.